welcome back to My Real California Life. So, I'm sure as you can tell by the title that it is not a good day today. Um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to title it, but something along the lines of today is garbage and horribly sucks. Excuse my mouth. Um, so, hi y'all. If you're new here, I'm Sandra. I'm so happy to have you. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, give us a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below. I love to talk to you guys. Um, I've got to know, got to meet so many great people. It's absolutely amazing. So, to get right into it, basically, um, I had asked yesterday, or I've been asking, I told you guys Sunday, which was yesterday, I was going to do a Q&A instead of my normal story time, so if anybody had questions... I had a bunch of people ask me questions. I went through, wrote them all down. I think I had like 15 questions I was going to answer. And I was going to do it last night. Um, things were a little bit crazy, hectic yesterday and stuff. So it was about 8 o'clock last night when I finally sat down to do it. Maybe a little after 8. And I did it. Excuse me. And um, I think it took about a half hour. And right at the end of the video, I was like almost done. I was like just saying a couple of little things. And y'all know I like to talk. I know maybe my camera was like shut up but at like almost exactly 30 minutes it just shut off and I was like okay I hate to edit the two videos together because the only program that I could find that will allow me to do longer than like a five minute video it seems like when I t use that program I love it and it let me put you know writing in it and do stuff and I can put in little clips and say stuff which I like because there's times when I mess up in the video I don't want to get rid of it but I would like to put a little blurb across the bottom well, anyways, what the editing program does, though, is it makes it so my voice isn't linked up with the video, like always. I noticed that it's always like that. Maybe it's only when I watch it, but in my earlier videos, a lot of them, like, especially that say My Real California Life, because that's the program I was using, it seems like the voice and the video just don't add up, and I cannot stand that. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to grab my drink. Okay. So... I am actually, I was drinking one of the new Zevias, um, the mango ginger flavor. It's actually okay. It doesn't really taste like ginger. Um, but because there are no sugar, it has that diet sugar flavor, and I hate that diet flavor. And I feel like the diet sugars are, like, always so much more sugary. So maybe they need to use a little less of it. But So I'm drinking this. This is the highball pomegranate acai flavor. This is an organic energy drink, and these are super high in um, caffeine, though, 260 milligrams. So I will not be drinking this whole thing. Okay, so, y'all, I went back to look at the video to see what I needed to do. And for some reason, it was just, like, completely messed up. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I was not even in the mood. I was like, I'm just going to erase it, and I'll just re-record it tomorrow. Y'all won't be upset if it's a day late, you know, no one's going to mind. So, um, I was actually trying to decide, maybe I was going to do it last night, like after Forrest went to bed and stuff, but I was so tired, um, I ended up going to sleep too, so anyways. So, I was going to do it this morning. So, I wake up this morning, my normal routine, I get Forrest up and stuff, and we go downstairs, and I happen to right away just check my bank account. Now, I... I normally, like, I check my account a lot because there's things coming through. Oh, real quick, I'll tell you this. This is why I was checking my account. I forgot. On anyone who's been here and watched my videos, you know I got a box from a company, Petite Vore. Petite Vore. I don't know how to say it exactly. But I got my first box. Now, y'all, I went back and looked this up because I could not believe it. For, no. No. Go downstairs one sec, baby. Oh, I love you too, sweetie. Um, And they charged my card originally. It was June 27th was when I signed up, <clears throat> excuse me, so they said that because it was like so late that they signed, they charged my box, they charged my card because I just signed up, and because it was still in June, they sent me June's box, well, I got that box on, I think it was like the 14th or 15th, something like that of July, excuse me, now it kind of makes me feel, now I don't know, this is just my theory, and I could be completely wrong, excuse me, but when I got that box, y'all, I did the video, and then I even told you guys in the video, I'm just not too happy for 18 bucks. It wasn't the greatest. I'm going to go cancel. So as soon as I got done making that video, um, I went online, and sure enough, they'd already charged my card that morning for the next box. 
and I kind of have a feeling it's like they knew that I was going to get that box that day or the tracking information told them it was here and they kind of knew that I was probably going to cancel so they charged it again so that was really weird so then they charged it on the 15th or it was the 14th or 15th or something of July okay I was like okay whatever you already charged it but cancel it I'll let the other box come but whatever so I canceled it they said they canceled it and I got another box okay now that box was even worse it had four samples in it for $18 samples guys so I was like oh my gosh thank goodness that I have canceled you know like and I wonder did they send me a crappy box because I had already canceled and they were mad I don't know that's just what I'm saying so then on Friday, I'm going through my emails and I get an email from Petit Vior saying, thank you so much, your card has been successfully charged and you'll receive your box soon. And I was like, excuse me, but that was supposed to be canceled. So I'm super pissed now because what I've already gone through with Petit Vior. So I email him and I'm pissed and I'm like, absolutely not. First of all, you know, this is how I feel. Okay, so this was on the third that they charged my card, y'all. Okay, so that means they charged my card June 27th july 15th and august 3rd so barely over 30 days they have charged my card for three months worth of service and i said that in the email too why if you are a monthly subscription company have i been charged three times in 36 days basically and they said well basically you signed up at the end of june so we charged you when you signed up and gave you that box but that's not our normal day our normal charge day is the 15th of the month and you got charged on the 15th for your july box okay stupid i'm sorry and i don't mean to be mean but if your normal charge box is on the if your normal charge date is on the 15th how are you justifying charging my card on the third then contradict yourself much so i was super pissed and i was like you guys better refund my account and cancel it and freaking take it off so that started okay so i go on my account this morning to see if they have pulled it back maybe because it was still pending because it was the weekend and you know if your debit card like if you use it as a credit card it takes three to five days to go through it doesn't go through automatically so a lot of times online it'll say pending it'll show to hold the money but it'll say pending so i didn't know if maybe they were just going to back it off or issue a refund or what so i go on though of course the charge has cleared the refund has not been issued but all of a sudden my account is at negative a hundred and thirty dollars and i'm like okay what first of all I didn't even know that the bank would let us like over we've never overdrawn now I know I said if you watch the other video my account got overdrawn with the scam that was the other account I actually petite your for some reason I went ahead and put on my normal account which I don't normally do so the other account though that is different okay I should have put the petite your on that account however so now my bank account is overdrawn $130 and I'm looking and there's all these charges over the weekend, just all gas stations though, like Circle K, Shell, 7-Eleven, Mobile, like a bunch, just gas stations. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like we didn't go anywhere over the weekend. So I call Travis at work and I'm like, did you like charge the card a bunch this morning or last week? Did you use it a whole bunch as a credit card and it's just coming through? And he's like, no, I got gas once last week. And so I'm like, oh God, so I'm freaking out. So I call the bank and um, first they look it up and sure it's not my card, it's Travis's. And the last charge was in Las Vegas. Um, last night they filled up with gas and I'm like, uh, well, we weren't in Vegas last night, so I'm kind of, a, and this is not the bank's fault, but I'm kind of upset because they've been super, like, stickler since the beginning, and there was a couple subscription box companies that I had tried, that's, like, one of the reasons why I put the separate account for it was I had tried, and the bank was like, nope, we don't quite trust this company, like, and they wouldn't let the charge go through until I went and told them, so it just got to be, like, uh, too much, so I was like, forget it. Well... I'm like, okay, so why would you not let any of that stuff go through, but then you'll let charges in another state go through when it's like, obviously, you know that we weren't there anyways, but I think that's why whoever did it knew if you do it over the weekend and you charge it as a credit card, like at a gas station, if you go and just swipe your card, it takes a couple days to go through. 
So that's why they were able to keep using it even after they'd overdrawn it and stuff. So y'all, they took every single penny we had and then some in that account. Thank God I have the other account and thank God I have a little bit of cash on me. And of course, the bank's going to take care of it. I don't know how long it's going to be, but that was what I had to wake up to today on the lovely Monday. So she said, we looked back, the last charge was actually my husband had gone to a liquor store here in San Jose that we don't normally go to, but he ran the other day to get something to drink and, um, they're doing construction by our house. And so to get to the 7-Eleven, you just have to go over the freeway, but that's where it stopped. So it only takes you like a minute to get to 7-Eleven, but then it takes you like 20 minutes to get home because to go back across, you're stuck in traffic. So anyways, he went ahead and just went to this little liquor store in the Lucky's parking lot that we don't normally go to. Well, they said that, the bank said that it was probably there. Somebody was able to clone his card, which really sucks. And that makes me really, really mad. And it makes me just like, it's, you know, even Travis was like, dude, I have one of those wallets, you know, that people aren't supposed to be able to like scan through or whatever, you know, and it's just like, people are still able to do, and it just, it just sucks, y'all, because it's like, he works so hard, and we work so hard for what we have, and we don't have a lot, but it's like somebody's just gonna go and take it, like, are you freaking kidding me? That's just so wrong, like, ugh, I wish I had a way to find out, like, who these people are, so... I am going to do the Q&A video probably a little bit later today. Um, I'm also like, I'm the type of person that whenever I get stressed, it like goes to my stomach. So when I woke up to this this morning, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like my stomach hurts so bad. And so now I'm just like, ugh. I'm trying to deal with all this. So now they cut off my husband's card. They're sending us some paperwork that we have to print up and sign and take it in when he gets home today. And they'll... They'll give them a new card. They can do it right there, luckily. So that's not bad. But it just sucks that we even have to go through this. And it sucks that, you know, these people were able to get, you know, a few hundred dollars. Like, there wasn't a whole lot, but there was. I think there was a few hundred dollars in there. And then they overdrafted it 130 you know. So they're, clo they're like, you know, five, six hundred dollars they were able to get. So, like... Y'all, they're having a good old time partying from here to Vegas. And like I said, I don't know if that's where they were going or they're just on the move. But, haha, you can't go any further now. Not on my card. But, y'all, like, that was just so horrible. And it's like, I swear, my, and I got this bag came in the mail. And I'm like, what on earth is this? I have no idea. And then I thought, you know, I did order these two little random things. Yep, it's a car mount. Okay, it's for the phone. Um... That food box that I got, the daily deal, the new one, they have a thing where if you sign up like your text, um, you get a text basically every day offering a deal on one item and it's always different. It's so random. Like it could be the weirdest things, but some of them are super cool and you get them for really, really cheap. So like this, for instance, was a magnet car phone mount, which I wanted something like that to be able to put my phone up. My husband has one that hooks into like the vent. And then has a magnet and then a magnet inside of his phone case so it just holds it but especially like for directions I'm really bad at directions so I always use my phone so when they offered these and I think they were let me see $3.99 each yeah so I paid four dollars each I got two of them y'all so see and it just holds it and then it holds your phone it's a thing to hold my phone in the car so see it's going to be hands-free, and I'll be able to just put my phone. It's the same kind of thing, I think. It just hooks into the vent. So I got one for me and one for my husband because he does need a new one. So you want to say hi? Yes. Say hi. Hi, I'm a rocker. This is Forrest. You're a rocker? Okay, go back downstairs. I'll be right down. I'm going to be done with the video. I was just telling them about how the people stole all the money from our bank account. I don't want a rocker now, please. I was telling them how the people stole all the money from our bank account. What do you think about that? Yeah, I really, I really want to like go lay down. Okay, but what do you think about those people stealing all of our money? They're rude. They're rude? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. They're maybe a thief. They are a thief. You're right. He knows. He knows. See, he's four, and he knows better. They're probably grown adults, and they don't even know better. Your mama did not teach you very well. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, don't ever steal. Like, come on. Like, that's one thing. I hate when people lie and when people steal. It's just, it drives me crazy. 
And like, that's one thing I can say. I have never sold tag. on purpose. Like, on accident, y'all, believe me, there's been times I've walked out and there's been something under the grocery cart that I didn't get charged for. You know what I mean? Little things. But never have I gone to somebody and taken their, you know, I mean, like, come on. That's just so wrong. So, y'all, like, don't steal. Don't lie. Your word is very important. Oh, I was starting to say, my old boss, Obi, I loved him. Me and my husband used to run a metal company, and Obi was the owner. And he was, like, 80 years old, y'all, the most amazing man. But he used to always tell me, Sandra, I swear, if you did not have bad luck, you would have no luck at all. And I, that's exactly how it is. If there is something that's going to happen, it's going to happen to me. Like, y'all, I'm telling you. And at this point, I'm 35. Like, I have come to live with it and accept it. I know. And maybe that's why, like, I'm a little anxious about things. And I'm always, like, thinking, like, the worst case scenario or what if, what if, what if. Because things always happen to go that way. So I think, okay, well, at least if I think that way and maybe I can keep it from happening if I'm at least prepared but there's nothing you can do to prepare you try to do everything you can to not have your bank card stolen but it sucks like y'all like I've already gone through this I've had my identity oh, stolen God. by a family member and I'll tell you like I've paid thousands I paid thirty six hundred dollars to get my license back alone and I'll tell y'all I have a perfect driving record but somebody, no, don't do that, please. Don't. Boo! You're so, okay, somebody in my family um, got pulled over and basically said that they were me and got multiple tickets and never paid them. So it's just crazy, y'all. Like, just crazy the things that people do. But just don't do that. I know, sorry, I'm rambling, but just don't do that, y'all. Like, come on, just treat people the way you want to be treated. Seriously. Like, seriously. Come on, I feel like there's adults that don't have common sense. My four-year-old has enough common sense to know to not steal things. And you just don't seem to. So whoever you are that, you, obviously they're never going to watch this, you know, probably. But it's like spending all that time that you spend stealing things and driving Hold around. On. Why don't you get a job? Hold on. Hold Stop. On. And stick in a place Hold and on. take care of you and your family or whatever it is don't steal from other people okay what um don't think our youtubers steal our bank account like, like that's so that's no the so youtubers rude. didn't steal it we don't know who stole it he's so funny he's thinking he likes um chad wild clay we watch him sometimes and him and his girlfriend v are doing a thing right now about like a hacker that stole their car and stuff so he's thinking it's a youtube you know anyways but, so, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, I know, and I will do the Q&A. Also, see, this is, I procrastinated. I was supposed to go this weekend and get a money order to send to my husband's grandparents because we owe them some money. They helped us cover a bill that we needed to really quick, and we didn't have any other way. Anyways, and um, I was supposed to mail the packages, and I didn't. And I was going to go down and do everything today. Well, now I have negative $130, so... I am really, really sorry, y'all, but it will be all taken care of. Um, and actually, Travis gets paid Wednesday, oh. so the boxes will for sure be paid, be paid out, will be sent out on Wednesday, I promise. So, Katie from Tattooed Mama and Mary and Joelle, um, I do have them finished. Well, almost. I have to get Hunter one little thing. And then I promise they will go out Wednesday. I'm not going to procrastinate anymore because Lord knows that something okay. will happen. I so, I love y'all. Let me tell them this one. Huh. Ding dong boo, ding ding little dong I love you. Oh, well, that was so cute. Boo. Okay, go downstairs to eat your corn dogs before they get cold. Jingle go. bells, hey. jingle bells. Come on, go. Jingle, jingle, That's so funny. Okay, y'all, um, I'm going to do the Q&A a little bit later. So now I guess if you have any more questions that you want to know, um, go ahead and drop them down below. 
because I honestly, I probably will wait until a little bit later when my husband gets home just it makes it a little bit easier if he can um, keep for us. Just so, like I said, last night when I tried to do it, it was already at a half an hour. So maybe if I can do it without, and Forrest did come in about four or five times, I had to keep pausing it. So if I do it with dad home, maybe I can get him to keep him down there and just get it done a little bit quicker, you know. So again, sorry to ramble on for 20 minutes about my stressful garbage Monday, but I'm so sorry, y'all. I just feel like I want to let you guys know. I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying something and just not doing it just because, you know, I'm lazy or something. Believe me, that's not the case. So, I love you all so much. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Give us a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below. I love you all and I'll see you all soon.